we have these moments where you come flying off the center of Great Falls. I'm so in the moment that time slows down and I've seen a heron as I'm in the air flying beneath my boat. I have this incredibly soft landing on the aerated water and the, and the sun is hitting the bubbles in just such a way that it's iridescent. It's not even so much of an of a inner dialogue, just this feeling of can, can life really get any better than this? There are over four million people in, in the D.C. area, and very few of them know that there are two national parks that they have access to, and very few of them are aware that the Potomac River can be an incredible and rejuvenating source of recreation for them. The Potomac is, is unique worldwide because it's a free-flowing river that isn't restricted by dams. It's relatively pristine, and it goes right through a major population area. A group of us who've, who've spent most of our lives passionately being involved in, in paddle sports, we have a vision that we're setting into motion to grow a Potomac River Festival that attracts the world's best in all kinds of, kinds of paddle sports because this is one of the world's best venues. One of the objectives of the Potomac River Festival is to show to the public paddle sports and access to the Potomac River, something that's available to, to everyone. People of all different types and who have different levels of adventure that they aspire to. What's so great about this river is that people of all ages can go out on paddle boards and have an experience that's built around simply experiencing nature and having a relaxing time. And on the same river, 10 miles upstream, you have access to Great Falls so that you work at the sport and you have an appetite for adventure and thrill seeking. You can have a world-class experience on waterfalls. It's something that I've seen affect positively so many kinds of people and that needs to grow. One of the things that keeps bringing me back to the Potomac River over and over again, the reason I haven't moved someplace like Hood River, Oregon, is that on any given day of the year, I can have an adventure experience that rivals anything being done by adventurers anywhere in the world. And an hour later, I can be at an art gallery. And that is something that you don't have anywhere else in the world that I'm aware of. And it's something that really enables a rich and varied life. In the late 80s, Kayakers started deciding that it wasn't enough just to survive difficult class five water and, and waterfalls. Now they were going to race down it. And the Great Falls race around 1987 or 88 started out as one of those underground grassroots events. Great Falls itself is just really one of the most spectacular sets of rapids in the world. The Park Service at times was ambivalent and sometimes downright hostile to the idea that we were going over Great Falls. Racing down Class 5 Whitewater was just something we had to do like at 7 a.m. before the park rangers were there, like underground. But an unintended result is that the two national parks in our region and the Potomac River, which is a, a globally famous resource, isn't very famous here. The people who are most invested, like me, for a long time were hiding our efforts, hiding what we did from the public because we did not want to be shut down. I, along with other friends, resurrected the Great Falls race. And that effort coincided with the Park Service beginning to see the kayakers that paddle Great Falls and that activity as being an asset to promoting the, the park and their efforts, not as something that should be shut down or threatened. The fact that the Park Service and the leaders of the paddling community are now working together to promote a common cause. It's a real opportunity for adventure sports overall. The Potomac River Festival should and will be the largest event of its kind nationally, if not globally. The theme is that adventure isn't something you do once in a lifetime. It's something that should be done every day. D.C., it is the capital of the United States. It, it is a town centered around political power, but it's also an adventure capital. People in all these buildings around here, they have no idea that 
you know, daily adventure is something that's available to them and is even beneficial. I would love to see more people taking advantage of that, building adventure into their everyday life. Adventure should and will become part of the DC area's broader culture, and that's what the festival's about. It'll become the heart of our community, because that's what the river is.